What's going on, everybody? Blastoise Brian back again. Today is finally the day. What day you might ask, right? It finally came. This is the Pokemon Center exclusive Pokemon Go to the Lady Trainer Rock. It's finally here. It's it's finally here. I just it's been a minute, I know. I did the booster box video with all the other Elite Trainer boxes. Of course, you know, got the regular Elite Trainer box in my hand. And this is finally the Elite Trainer box video that I've been waiting for. So if you guys would, please leave a like, please subscribe. It'd mean a whole lot to me. And I appreciate all of you guys for stopping in and tuning in today. So let's get open. I'll show you what's in them. And hopefully we get some good pulls. For the non-exclusive, of course, you know, this is what the actual Elite Trainer box looks like. This is what it does contain. You get, you know, your damage counters, which are acrylic, your V-Star marker, which is acrylic. You get the cool little die, which I kind of showed off in the booster box video. I do love that see-through blue die there with the blue accent marks. All right, so. All of the Elite Trainer boxes are supposed to come with said promo Mewtwo. Your little, of course, energies. And you will have your dividers and sleevey sleeves, right? And then there, it's a good code card. Now, in the regular Elite Trainer box, you'll get 10 packs. Regular 10 packs. Outside of that, where is that? Do we not get a player's guide? You're supposed to get a player's guide in every single one of these. That will tell you how to play the game and things, but I might have just missed it or so. Outside from that, right? Of course, the inside sleeve, right, will be the different pack arts that are on the packs themselves, or I think it's just an all over pack art itself like said packs excuse cables it will also come with this which again scannable codes for the pokemon go game itself. good luck with the redemptions so we're gonna put these over to the side so just calling it out this one here the pokemon center version it's way it is way longer Okay, don't know why. It's it's just bigger, it's longer. And maybe that's because of what it contains. As far as the inside sleeve, it is actually just this. There is no art to it, which is very unusual for the Pokemon exclusive. I will say that the box design is different. It still comes with the player or the yeah, player's guide itself, which will show you, of course, all the different Pokey means in it and okay. I was like, that feels weird. There's that for your scannable stuff. Alright, there it is. Yeah, the good old regular like newspaper TV guide. There we go. The good pages, right? And I mean I've pulled the radiance that I've been wanting. There's not much else really that I'm like really chasing after. Uh, I just, you know, after the booster box video, I was just kind of done, you know? So the one thing that I would say as far as the Pokemon exclusive, it does still come with metal die. Will come with the acrylic marker the same, but I did see this metal markers for the damage counters themselves. These, these are what I'm talking about. These feel great. Need more of this. You know, I, I made a video, hey, 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 in the Mewtwo coin. I made a video about the damage counters as far as that, what came in the Juniper collection versus the ones that we usually get. No, the, the metal ones are far better. We will get 12 packs as far as the Pokemon Center exclusive goes. I feel bad. I, I ordered three. Of course, one to open up with Gary. One for Gary to open up himself. You know, 
Uh, again with the promo Mewtwo. Turn your face. But I feel like I should have ordered four. So I could put one up. Just put one up for a rainy day. Hey, come here, come here, come here. I don't want to take you all of you out. So, okay. Deck of energies. I will say that the dividers are different. Which I feel like is definitely a step in the right direction, if you ask me. And again, good luck for those redeeming, if you do redeem. Come here, come here, come here. This sleeves are different as well. And again, no player's guide. That's weird. Well, maybe they tell you how to play the game and everything like that inside of the actual player's guide that will tell you basically like, you know, what's in the set. Because, you know, like the starter guide or whatever, it's it's great. Okay. Especially if you want to start playing the game. It's fantastic. It's kind of how I learned how to play the game. There we go. Back down to ground level. And then, of course, the deck box. Which, cool. Cool additive. Cool additive. Now, as far as retail, retail pricing goes, what, the regularly trainer box is like... 50 55 dollars the pokemon ex center exclusive one was 65 so i mean you get the extra stuff with two more extra packs other than that it's on you as far as which one you think is best but i really got these to show you what was in the inside and what's inside of this so let's get the crack number one card it's still Mewtwo V alternate art, which I have not yet pulled. I guess next top card would be the rainbow Mewtwo V star. Third would be the gold Mewtwo V star. And then you start getting into the radiance. Hey, Blastoise. Never, never a bad day pulling him. Very happy about that. So like, I just got done with a pack battle, of course, with Pokemon X Center exclusive elite trainer boxes. Um, with Gary, and he kind of wiped me, but I did get something that I did not have before, and it was Conklador full art, not the alternate art. You know, so I haven't actually, like, really... Hey, Sylveon! And Malleable. I really haven't actually, like, superly gone hard in this set, only because I know, you know, Lost Origins coming up, and a lot of things have been linked on that, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I am super hyped about it. Still wondering what we're going to get for our very, very last set of the year. And it sounds as though, as far as special specialty sets, that won't be until next year. Which is perfectly fine with myself, because, poof, my wallet. But Lost Origin looks so good. So good. Between the Giratina, um, seeing, of course, a, a couple of different b full arts and so on and so forth. The alternate arts, like with Rotom. Just different Pokemon like that. Uh, I'll say also the character rares are going to be fantastic. I'm going to go hard. Hey, Radiant Venusaur. Well, that's two in one day as far as the Venusaurs go. Hey, Zard. What's up, boy? Yeah, pull two Venusaurs. One with Gary and one in this video. I don't know when this is going to be live. I was on vacation. Whenever I, I had my uh, my streak of uploads. But back to the character rares of Lost Origin. I will go bro just for that. So many. Oh, I needed this guy. Yes. I needed that reverse war turtle. And I think, yeah, I'm done with my, my most wanted starters. Uh, my goal was to get the Blastoise line or Squirtle line first. Then now I guess I can start looking for Charmanders and Charmeleons. For some reason, the uh, Ivasaurs are kind of hard to pop in that spot. It's weird. Dittos are very, very uncommon as well, apparently. Hey, Moltres. I don't know why I was like, ooh, what is that? But yeah, I mean, a lot of great stuff's coming out. The, what, the... For me, uh... Premier Ball, the for the Dragonite collection special. Okay, that was awkward, but all right, I'll run with it. Gordle, Candela, and Conklador. Good old Conklador. 
wouldn't have an opening without a conclador. But like, I mean, to be fair, there's not that many Vs in this set. You know what I mean? Like, there's not that many cards, so there's going to be a lot more common things that you run into. You know, the Radiance, there's only three, but also like Ditto. I mean, just different combinations. You know, it's all by chance. We got Lapras. Hey, Slay King. I love that art. I actually really, really like that art. I like the coloring. Not bad centering as well. I will say, uh, yeah, this is a first for me too. Ghost Lake King. You know, not like the most hypest of hype pool, but I mean, like the full art. I don't feel like I see a lot of like regular full arts and go, but you know, again, I haven't like really been going that hard in it. Not like how I did with like Brilliant Stars or even what I did with Astral Radiance. It's been like a handful of products here and there. The two. And Snorlax. You know, so I'm not like going out of my way for these top cards. Again, I got my Radiance. I got my shiny Pokemon. And I got out of the set. Everything else is just kind of a bonus from this point. There were, I will say, over in the Pokemon Center exclusives that I opened up with Gary. There were like multiple different banged up cards and code cards and things like that. And it's just like, what are you guys doing? You know, I would say that the centering has gotten a little bit better, but other than that, like the quote unquote quality control that they were promising us, I don't know if that's been implemented yet. Cause I'm pretty sure the printing group is live. But on that note though, not a bad first box. You know, we did get a shiny Pokemon, a Radiant, got a full art, B, you know, it's pretty chill. I'd say that's good. To our Pokemon Center exclusive. Now, I will say that Kami, as far as my knowledge goes, on who's opened Pokemon Center exclusive Elite Trainer boxes. God, that's a mouthful. But as far as those go, I will say that she got the gold Mewtwo V Star. Hey, Zard, what's up? So, I mean, I just straight up told her, I was like, yo, so that paid for half of your box. But other than that, that's like the only greatest call that I'll say. My very first one, I got the uh, the full art Conclador, and then I got the Venusaur, and I Dragonite, and that was it. That was it out of 12 packs. With that still is, hey, War Turtle. That's that's odd. Hey, Mewtwo. With, what's odd about the War Turtle is that I don't feel like I've seen them a whole lot. So getting two reverse War Turtles, in my opinion, is like lucky. Because God knows, you know, it took me over 40 packs just to pull a Blastoise. Just a regular Blastoise. Just a regular Blastoise. So trying to find the specific reverses is going to be a, uh, a time and a half. Oops. Onyx. Oh, uh, Nubal. Oh, we got the Ditto. You know what, Nubal? You're, you're going to say a Nubal. And Pikachu. Yep, that, that new will stay in a new will. I've already peeled one, you know. Go I yeah, go watch my booster box video to watch me peel it. Any other like dittos that I'm grabbing, now I'm just like leaving. There's no purpose of peeling them. I don't I don't play competitively, so they're gonna stay that way. Mal Metal! Or Meltown, I should say, sorry. Sylveon! And another Pikachu. You know, we got that Pikachu back to back and I was about to say, it's like, you don't see that Pikachu that often. They were giving him out at GameStop. But we just got that same Pikachu back to back. But I'd say that, you know, regardless of pools, or I should say, with the pools that we have right now, the opening's not been that bad, you know? Not superly hyped, you know? All right, I guess three times today, which again, you know what? I will say this. These look better than my original one that I pulled, at least. I am happy about that. But two Radiant Venusaurs in one video. It's all right. It's, hey, I, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to think of any other Radiant where I'm like, well, at least it wasn't this. I'd say that probably Heatran. I didn't like Heatran as much. I mean, I'm happy that he was able to get a shiny. Happy that he was able to be a Radiant. But I'd say that as far as the most coveted or most wanted 
I'm e trans, not what comes to my mind. Hey, speaking of Venusaur, Venusaur. So all we need is a Blastoise, and we have completed the Hollow starters in this. Numel, 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 Numel. Just makes me think of like, you know, Numa Numa Numa, and then I get the audio he's and you know, all that other jazz. Slowpoke! Hey, Blastoise! Hey! And a water energy. So yes, we pulled all three starters in one elite trainer box. Not just in one video, in one elite trainer box. Would I be greedy if I was like, all right, now give me the other two Radiants, give me my Blastoise and give me the, the Zard so I can double up on those. Amy Palm, Slowpoke, Onyx, Datu, and Mal Metal V Max. I think that this is actually the very first time that I pulled this guy. I think, if I remember correctly. But it, you know, it's been a minute. It has been a minute. If this isn't the first time, then I'd say that this is only the second time. So I, I haven't gotten, I don't know, screwed over by the Malmetal as much as what other people have. Because I know that there's some people that they're just like pulling left and right. Focus up. Anglisopod. You know, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I am kind of bummed that we haven't pulled anything other than like the full art Slay King. I mean, I... You know, my metal VMAX is there because it's a VMAX, but it's like, I I really want full art Dragonite. And he's, he's not the most expensive guard or anything like that. But like, he looks good, in my opinion. He looks cool. He's an honorable, like, yo, I want him. Unfuzzant. All right, so, uh, oh. So I guess I get to join that, you know. We just pulled two out of the same box. Hey. Yay, this is what I've been waiting for. Although I will say this Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Box is a lot better than the very first one that I had opened up with Gary. And honestly, it's actually better than Gary's too. Yeah, hey, a little Squirtle. And Zapdos. Zapdos is also, like, like for me, a hard card to pull for some reason. Squirtle, you're going over there. You're going over there, buddy. And this is the last pack. So we got Rattata, or Rattata, Spinarak, Barrel, got Slowpoke, Steelix. I like it, that Steelix. And hey, all right, can't be angry at that. Ending it off with my boy, the Blastoise. But thank you guys for watching. That's going to be it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more colored content and also more shiny content in the future. Again, the name is Blastoise Brian. Good luck with all your hunts, pulls, adventures, just anything that you guys do. Just please be safe, all right? Please treat others the way that you want to be treated. Until next time, go check out one of my other videos wherever that there are. They're more likely like right over here, like right here probably, whatever. But... Until next video, later guys.